Okay, today's incident reports are you and I are most likely going to be locked down again for um, a great long time. And if you have a small business or a job, uh, they're all being threatened. And um, what can you do about it? Really nothing you can do about it. So I'm just going to recommend that you um, accept the fact that you are living in a place where you're not the army, you're not the police, and if they're going to institute lockdowns, uh, you're not going to be able to upset the army or the police, so you might as well just stay home and decide that um, that's the way it's going to be. Clancy is going... I know, it's, um, why, because you can't fight uh, the army and the police. So, if you stay home, sooner or later, everyone else is finally going to get so sick to death of being locked up, cooped up, cabin fever, that, um, the ones who are saying we want lockdowns will change their minds. How long will this take? Mm. For some people, I don't know. For other people, I don't know. But that's basically the way that um, we're going to play it. We're just going to say, that's the way you're going to play it. That's the way we're going to play it. Um, the point is, fighting, um, you're never going to win. But if you uh, hunker down, then in five years, then maybe people will have been sick of never seeing other humans and never participating in sports and, you know, all the things that we're used to doing as humans. Sooner or later, the people who are calling for these lockdowns uh, are going to decide that, you know, they're sick to death of lockdown. So we're really waiting on the slow people. Why are they slow? Because they're pretty much the stupidest people pretty much the stupidest people. Um, I was just watching one video on Instagram and the guy was looking at a list of ingredients on the back of various products and um, he said right off the bat, I'm no scientist. And he couldn't, um, he looked at the words and um, clearly he's never taken high school chemistry. And then all he did is fear monger. He talked about all this GMO stuff, and I don't know what a phosphate is, and um, why well, listen to these, these people are really slow. They're the slowest people on the planet, because they're dumb. Why are they dumb? Some people are just naturally dumb. Other people are just lazy. This guy's lazy. You know, why didn't you take high school chemistry? It was too hard for you. That's the kind of people we're talking about. People that just take the easy way out. You know, just slide around on your ass instead of getting up and walking. There's plenty of these people, and these are the people who are still the ones who want perfect safety. And they want everybody else to do it. Um, you know, education is the big freedom generator on the planet and some people refuse education so they walk around and then they just um, spit out whatever garbage is floating around in their stupid little heads unfortunately on this planet um, there's a hell of a lot of these kind of people a hell of a lot and you can't do anything with them you can't educate these people I mean if they went through the public school system and they didn't get educated you ain't gonna be able to do it and they have no will to learn anything. So, you know, you're just going to have to wait for these people to do um, what they're going to do. They're going to be the, the ones right now crying, lockdown, lockdown, be safe, be safe. And in five years, these are going to be the people saying, I, I hate lockdowns. I, I want to be free again. It might take them five years. So um, the rest of us are just going to have to sit. And this is called... Um, <clears throat> being part of a collective and uh, uh, you know you can try and lead the collective but the collective won't be led 
They won't. They're very stubborn. And if it's in their head that um, this is what they want, then give it to them. And once they've had what they want, and they've come to the conclusion that they don't want it because, you know, it's no fun, it's not living, it's, you know, locking yourself up in a cage and um, saying, I'm safe in my cage. So until these people change their minds, the rest of us who are freedom lovers are simply going to go, all right, we'll play it your way. For the next five years, we're going to hunker down, cabin fever, wearing masks, being afraid of... That's what it is, is total fear. And, um, you know, there, that, that, you have to let people have their day. And the stupid, uneducated people are having their day today. These are the same people that listen to the news. And I had the news on upstairs. It's not me. Somebody else is watching it as usual. And it's the same highly toxic, negative information about fear, 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 fear. Horrible, horrible. Mass murder, gangs, everything horrible. And it's the same thing they played last night. So, you know, people that are addicted to mainstream news, you're going to have to let them be addicted to it. Let them be addicted to it until they can't stand it anymore. Some people, their addiction is uh, to uh, mainstream news is uh, it's worse than people addicted to opiates or crack cocaine. They're totally addicted to the negativity coming out of the television. Why? Um, <clears throat> it's um, it's insidious, you know. The news. The news is insidious. You think you need the news, and you got to hear about it. you got to be kept up to date. Some people have got the television going 24-7. Because they don't want to miss the next piece of news. But this is not real news. This is all garbage. It's fear-mongering. And some people are addicted to the fear. And maybe it uh, gets their adrenaline going, or it lets them say, I told you so, the world's going to hell and hell can't... Well... It is. The world is going to hell in a handcart. But it's because people are buying into this negative news. And, you know, if everyone's locked up in their little cage, I guess they're not going down to support local businesses. And they're all going to go bankrupt. And all we're going to have left is Amazon Online and Walmart uh, brick and mortar. And that's it. And that's the way it's going. So people are simply going to have to live through the collapse of society. That's all it is. You're just going to have to live through it. You're going to have to say, it's not my wish, it's not my will, but those who oppose me, it's their day. And the sooner you say, okay, it's your day, let's have it your way, the sooner they're going to get sick of it their way. So, I guess I'm not going to go out again for anything fun for, I'll give you five years. Maybe it's going to be five years. Some people say, well, people are going to get, no, people are never going to get used to being um, locked in little cages for their safety. They think they need that right now. And what they are doing is I've got this in my, my, in my head that I've got to have lockdown. I got to be safe. I got to isolate myself. And, um, part of the reason that they keep talking about this is because all the people on the other side that say we want our freedom, um, are opposing it. And so it's like, you know, it's ego. My ego wants the safety thing because that's what I chose. And um, the ego is just going to go. So you just have to let it run until um, these people decide that they've had enough. And then they will be the ones that will say, uh, this is enough. How are they going to let everyone else know? You'll know because you know who these people are already. They're the first, the first thing on their lips when you see them is, did you hear this 21 new cases of the wrong? The only thing on their mind is the number of new cases of Rona. Only thing on their mind. So, that's the way it's going to be. So, welcome to Planet Earth 2020. 
come back and see me in 2025 and we'll see how we're doing.